After working 13 years in Italy's fields, this is what Nigerian farm worker Rita Godwin has to show for it. A one-room shack in a rural slum in southern Italy. There's no running water, electricity, or trash removal. And after fetching water, she treats it by boiling it with herbs. We don't do this. We fall sick every blessed day. So we boil it. We drink it so that we don't fall sick. In 2008, Rita made the risky sea crossing to Italy. She left two children behind and sends money when she can. Working in the fields leaves her little for anything else. Do you feel stuck here? Yes, because you know, in my country, I have never lived in this kind of environment. Farm worker Abdullah Ismail came from Ghana thinking life would be better in Italy, the country of his dreams of soccer, food, and fashion. I always feel shame when anybody is calling me outside. I don't like video call because the place I'm living is very shame for me to somebody to see where I'm living. There are more than 80 settlements like this across Italy. Some 2,000 people live in this camp alone, and the people we spoke to here say they feel stuck because they don't have access to legal work documents, which keeps them from getting better paying jobs and makes it very hard for them to afford a place of their own. Another migrant, Sadio, from Senegal, takes us on a tour of the shanty town, or ghetto as they call it. Life here is inhumane. This is not a humane life. Look around. The truth is, many people here live in extremely difficult conditions. Sadio told us most migrant farm workers only make around 35 euros a day. And that's before paying a mafia middleman 5 to 10 euros to secure work in the fields. The fight for dignified, legal work free from mafia control came to the fore in the pandemic. Last spring, during Italy's first strict lockdown, farm workers were deemed essential workers. But without work papers, they had no documents to show police patrols enforcing the lockdown. So they weren't allowed to leave the shanty towns to go out to work in the fields, precisely at a time when Italy needed more of them. The a charismatic leader, Abu Bakar Sumaoro, has led protests up and down Italy throughout the pandemic. A former farm worker from Ivory Coast, he called attention to the self-proclaimed invisibles. Migrants toiling in the fields, out of sight and out of mind to most Italians. Race, he says, is clearly a factor in their treatment. The workers are often paid a low wage based on the color of their skin or because the countries they came from. It's the immigration laws that create this exploitative situation because work contracts are tied to resident permits. If you refuse what they're offering, you won't get a contract. So workers are squeezed and have to accept the conditions. Savvy on social media, Sumooro led strikes and called for systemic change. He communicates daily with hundreds of thousands of followers. There are no rights. There's no dignity. There are just workers to be exploited, to be enslaved. 